Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Tree channel. Uh, after a long wait, I finally received the 10.12.2 FSD beta update today. So I thought I'll take you on a quick drive to see what all uh, improvements have been made in this version. And from the release notes, I do see there are quite a few uh, improvements made. Uh, so if you, uh, I'll put up the release notes uh, now, you know, so that if you want to feel free to uh, pause the video and then go through them but there's a huge list of updates that they've made and this has been a major update so the rollout was a little slow I think they were testing it out first and then uh, before they did the wider release so I finally got the 10.12.2 update today uh, along with the FST beta update there are a few more updates that uh, that came in with this version uh, so if you are in a so if you're in the beta program, usually the standard updates, you know, you receive it uh, a little slow compared to everyone else uh, who is not in beta. So some of the updates that I'm referring to are the additional uh, uh, bottom bar customization. So I think there is another uh, option available here for you to add a, a menu item and then there's a child lock item and then uh, the mobile app. Now you can control dog mode and camp mode. Uh, I've talked about camp mode before, so now you have the option to control uh, turn on and off uh, uh, from the mobile app itself. There's a new language support as well, uh, Turkish. Um, so yeah, quite a few uh, improvements here and I do see uh, driving visualization improvements have been made and I right away saw a lot of, you know, uh, animations that change that are new. Uh, and you can see vehicles a lot clearer now. So yeah, let's let's take it on a ride and then see how it does today. All right, welcome back. Uh, I'm testing out the 12.2, uh, 10.12.2 FST beta version. Uh, which I just received today and straight away you can see the visualizations they are a lot more defined the cars here uh, I think that's that's been improved upon for sure so I am doing my regular route uh, for the test drive just to see how it does um, but I think maps is taking me on a slightly different route this time, even for the same destination. Um, so we'll see. Um, So far it's been doing pretty good and uh, I did clean up the windshield and all the cameras as I always do before I go for a test um, and make sure you do that as well. So I like that it's maintaining a bit of a following uh, distance when it sees there's a car on the right. And I don't know if it can identify uh, blinkers or indicators yet, uh, but it did, I think, give a little bit of uh, space. Um, I don't know, it's, so it's slowing down a lot here. Um, so let me mark that, Let's, uh, send a video of that. Okay, so this is interesting. This light is a stoplight, a blinking stoplight. Uh, let's see how it does. So I think after this car, it's okay to go. Uh, it's, it's slowing down. Well, I'm pushing the accelerator a bit. It didn't, it didn't go. Hmm. Let me push the accelerator. Okay, so it didn't didn't want to proceed I think it was waiting for another car that came in after us but I don't know why it waited for for that but I did uh, press the accelerator and then it started going 
and I'm trying a different view uh, for the camera um, just some feedback I received from uh, AJ uh, so let me know if you like this view or the centered view So other than the stop stop light there, uh, I think it's doing pretty good and I like that it's not going too close to the curb on the left. I think that's one thing it was it would always do. I, I'm noticing that as a slight difference, you know, where it's not going too close to the curb. So we have a left turn coming up in about uh, 0.5, uh, 0.8 miles. So it's, it's just a straight road to Lynn, so we'll see how it does. That was an aggressive uh, maneuver. Uh, it immediately got me to the left lane. Um, I would take it a little slower uh, because it's uh, it, it makes you jerky. Uh, I mean, it was not as smooth as I would have liked it, but not too bad. It did get me to the right lane. So this is an interesting intersection. It's a railway crossing and then our left is coming up there. Um, so we'll see how that handles it. in about 0.4 miles so it got me to the right lane I think it's a it's an improvement for sure I, I can definitely see an improvement uh, the only thing was uh, sudden moments maybe it could take it a little slower it's a little aggressive uh, for sure This is our right turn here. All right, so this street is again uh, a street with no lanes and a lot of cars parked here. So it is centering, I, I mean, it is keeping to the lane uh, and it got me to the center as soon as I said that, but doing better I would say uh, I think the only time it crosses the center all right it, so it got me in and then it, it stopped so I think it did pretty good uh, let's see how it does on the way back uh, I'll stop here for a second and then I'll be right back so I'm heading back uh, and I turned on uh, FSD beta here because I saw the icon so let's see how it will navigate it says navigation complete okay I should pro I'll probably have to take over but let me okay let me give it okay press the accelerator I think it knows now uh, where it needs to be okay, it's being cautious It's trying to do a right, even though my um, 
map says it's it needs to be on the left that's that was interesting so it took me on the took did a right which was strange so the map got updated now uh, because it didn't make a right but no harm done I think it was probably trying to make uh... so there's a truck parked right there uh, so maybe it doesn't have as good of a visibility so it has to come forward a bit okay so I pressed the accelerator because <laughs> it, it started coming to the uh, the intersection and then it was slowing down so yeah uh, I pressed the accelerator but it did manage the steering on its own uh, so yeah there are a few things I think that still needs to be ironed out and that was a tricky situation the visibility was difficult there because of the the truck being parked uh, it was it was an interesting situation for sure so we have struggled with this right turn a bit uh, before now I think should manage it it's doing pretty good I think it's slowing down uh, for the vehicles coming over all right there's another car it's making a left yep All right, so yeah, struggled again. So yeah, that right and and crossing the rail railway track and then making an immediate left has always been pretty tricky for it I wouldn't say it did any better M maybe a little bit uh, before uh, from the from my previous tries uh, but I think it could have it needs some more work there it's a it's a tricky area you know every time I try it I think I didn't have to take over that much uh, this time uh, the past few drives I pretty much had to take over uh, the whole whole stretch uh, but I think now it was, it was doing better the only I think on the stoplight there where we were making a left uh, I pressed the accelerator a bit because the the car behind me was in a rush and they were trying to you know get through so I didn't want to slow them down but yeah the visualizations do look really good and uh, so I don't even know how it's able to make out a car next to this and even recognize the brake lights. That's, that's very interesting because I don't have any visibility for that unless it's using uh, like a radar sensor to get, you know, know that. But I know this is vision based uh, build, so I'm not sure. This drive has always been a little uh, tricky. That's the, one of the reasons I always try out uh, a new build with this, uh, you know, uh, route. Just to, it helps me compare if, if there have been improvements. I think this has a lot of uh, improvements for sure. This version 10.12.2, uh, .2, uh, a lot of visualizations improve, uh, visualization improvements. Uh, but it does need a few more things to bear and out. I think I'll try a few more different routes that I've tried in the past and then 
uh, make a different video for it. Uh, since this was a bigger update, I think it needs a little more testing to be sh sure to see if there's definitely, uh, if there are definite improvements. I think there are a few places where it usually struggles along this route and it did struggle a bit again uh, on, on in, in those places. But yeah, I think this was the first uh, good quick test uh, uh, for the 10.12.2. I, I do see some improvements, uh, but with this route, again, we'll have to try out different routes again to see um, how it does. So we have a right coming up here. And we are back at the light, which is a stop sign now. And I don't even see it blinking anymore. The, so you see the lights never turned on. So it's not even blinking red light anymore. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but everyone is following a stop and go rule. So I'll see how Tesla behaves here. I don't know why it was going to the left. Okay. <laughs> so I pressed the accelerator a bit and then it, it started up. I, but I was not sure what was going on. It, it was trying to move to the left. I don't know if it recognized something on the right there, which was not visible to me. Uh, not sure what was going on. Uh, but I did have to take over and uh, I turned it back on and then it made the right turn there. So yeah, that was an interesting intersection back there for sure. So this was the quick test for 10.12.2. Uh, and like I said, I'll have to try out a few different routes before I can say for sure if how much have been improved. Uh, I, how, how, um, and yeah, I'll probably make a few more drives with this version uh, because I did get this update after I think four weeks. So a lot of improvements are, have, are expected with this build. So I think I'll go ahead and stop the video here. Uh, hope you like the video. And then yeah, do let me know if you like this view uh, better. Uh, and if you do, I'll uh, continue with this. If not, I'll see if I can try a different uh, view next time. I hope you like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.